Wollongabba Cricket Ground, used for the first time for an Australia-England match, was the scene of a game of swiftly changing fortunes, when England, one up and two to play, met Australia in the vital fourth test match. Brisbane celebrated the occasion with typical midsummer weather, which was as trying to the spectators as it was to the players. But there was this difference. The spectators didn't have to face Larwood. Larwood commences with an orthodox off-field to Richardson, who gets the express away for a couple. But it wasn't long before he switched to leg theory. Whoop, that one whistled by Woodfull's ear. The Australian captain picked the right ball to hit. A fine straight drive goes off to the boundary as Woodfull settles down to a solid innings. The leg trap is all set for Don Bradman. Hmm, that nearly got him. Bradman preferred facing Allen, whom he sends to the square leg fence for four. Yes, Larwood can be played. Well, Bert Ironmonger got one four off him anyway. And Australia's first innings closed for a total of 340. The Australians take the field in the grueling heat and a wide variety of headgear. Jardine takes Sutcliffe out with him to open England's first innings. The English captain, batting in academic style, turns Wall to the fine leg for a single. The Australian fast man gave another exhibition of lion-hearted bowling. Bradman gives variety to the attack, and Hammond gets him away for a single. McCabe, who secured a couple of useful wickets, takes up the attack to Leyland. Wall to Painter. The little Lancastrian came from hospital to England's aid when wickets were falling and saved the day. Scotchman's Hill. O'Reilly, whose bowling again proved him the fine of the season, bowls to Verity. This bowler batsman kept his wicket intact in his invaluable partnership with Painter, which carried England's first uh, innings total 16 runs past that of Australia. The scoreboard tells its own story of Painter's plucky innings. With 83 to his credit, Painter is caught by Darling off Ironmonger, and a magnificent batting feat goes down in test history.